Today we will review a very special tool to help you get notes back in your splash screen or in a special dedicated workspace. So without further ado, let me show you what I want to tell you. Okay, how many times have you ever started a file and then you would thought, you would think, hey, I need to leave some notes to myself when I open this, I don't know, four or five years in the future. Like for example, you can do that if you go to file, um, custom preferences on edit and install custom add-on. Select this one, I will, I'm going to leave the URL download link in the, in the video description. And once you install it, then you will have access to this new amazing interaction mode that is called Node 3. What this is going to do is going to assign a special workspace so that you can work, a special window rather, where you can work your notes. So I've created a special um, workspace up here by duplicating it and then um, renaming it mind map. So this is how it works. So you have your notes, which are basically right now notes to yourself so that you can create whatever assigned task you have. Now imagine this as a flow map, as a mind map, okay, inside Blender. So if you're a, if you're a supervisor, if you're a, a technical artist and you want to have your notes with you all the time, you can do this. Now you can uh, place these notes in different places around the user interface. For example, I'm going to select Samus head and then I'm going to write notes for that specific object. You could say at object level. So we open here the object properties and then we find the notes tab and then let's scroll this up. And now I'm going to push here to create a very new note. So you will notice these two icons, this empty box and then this bookmark. The bookmark means that it's already done and the box, the empty box will mean that uh, you can restore it. Okay, so that's the way it works. So I'm going to click here. If you click any other object, it will not appear. It will only appear on the object that you created a note into. So in this case, I'm going to add um, with these uh, icons that I have here, a new note. And you can see that you can have either of those uh, showing and whenever you're done, you just click that bookmark icon and then it will be an empty box, which means that that's basically your marking system for something that is to do and something that has been done. All right, so that's pretty cool. This is notes to yourself at object level. Let's open uh, a text editor window. So. Let me start this from scratch so you can see how this is done. So this is our regular normal text editor, right? So on your right, you have these two uh, tabs. You need to open the one that says notes and then you, you're going to get a new set of options to write uh, to different levels inside Blender. For example, this one is the one that we just saw. It's the object level. Now we can write notes at scene level and also on the file menu, of course, that is going to be saved uh, right here at, uh, within the Blender file. So if you click that, a new text block is created. In that text block, you can write uh, as long as this, this uh, string characters, uh, not too long because this note thing does not have a word wrap, not yet. So you just write and type uh, short words. And when you're done, you can come here and I want this note to appear in this menu, in the file menu. So you can see the green arrow there. So what I'm going to do is click here and immediately this text will appear as a note right here. You can see that, right? So if you click it, then we will get the note that we wrote. Okay, that's perfect. If you come up here on this little icon, it's got right here, um, and you click it, you get additional uh, dialogues. Okay, so that's just a way to say that you can additionally create other stuff with this. Uh, it's a more advanced version later on. So please notice this group of different 
icons that you have right here. So right now we're going to talk about the scene uh, level of the note. So I'm going to click here, uh, and now I'm going to clear the text block. I'm going to create a new one. You can see right there, it's empty, and therefore I have empty notes. They are not written anywhere. So right now I'm going to go into the uh, blend, Blender uh, splash menu, or rather the Blender icon. So I'm going to click there. A new text block is going to be created. And now I'm going to write the note, whatever I need to type for anyone who opens this file and then, you know, we'll, we'll check it out. Anyone who's got the um, add-on can edit it, but if you save the file, the file gets saved with the Blender file itself. So right now there is nothing there. So this is the text we want. I'm going to click here, okay? And now it creates a note right there. You can see that, right? Perfect. Now, if you click it, you will retrieve your note and then you will read it. Of course, we click OK and then the dialog box disappears. So again, click here and you also have um, that little icon there. So that was cool. All right, let's push the trash can and then it will get deleted, right? Not so. You need to delete the text block in order for that to go away. If you click this trash can, it will only clear the screen but will not clear the note. I hope that's clear. <laughs> All right, let's go for the last one. That's the splash screen, my favorite one. If you click splash screen, a new text object is going to be created. I'm sorry, text block. So let's make this one a little bit len lengthy. All right. Now I'm going to click here on splash screen. And that, of course, is going to write on the splash screen a special note, which says a splash screen note. Obviously, this is a note. And if you hover, this part is going to switch um, the way it's written right there. You know, just it's a little peculiar note. So, all right, so let's close Blender. Let's relaunch it. And when you relaunch it, whosoever opens this file will find out about this note. Isn't that magnificent? You will never forget ever again what you were doing four or five years ago. This is a note to yourself. I'm sorry, the puns are really intended here. So let's delete this now. Um, you will say, all right, I opened this, so where is my text? You need to scroll up, okay? Scroll up the lines, like use your mouse wheel, retrieve your text with this little um, relaunch icon here, roll up, and then you will find your text for the splash screen. So that's that, and it works. So again, all right, I'm going to press the trash can, and then it will clear it. No, not so, sir. You need to go here and clear the text block. And with that, you are clear. Okay, but when I click on this video, uh, Mr. Schiller, I saw a really amazing uh, idea, which was a uh, mind map. So where is that? Yes, this is what I'm going to show you right now. So you have this workspace dedicated for the node creations of the text nodes. Okay, so you can see it right here. And if you come here, don't forget, you need to switch to the note tree, note tree, sorry. <laughs> a little bit confusing there. So you can color your notes. You can write and type uh, inside your notes. You can assign text. You can assign color. For example, um, if you press N, you're going to get this on this panel, on this window, on this text node window, all right? So... I'm going to grab this one Snapchat uh, note, and then I'm going to switch this, click on paint, and it will automatically assign the color. You can also come here into the node color, and then you can draw or rather move your cursor so that the picker will choose a new color. And this is import text from the text block and upload the text to the text block. And of course, Trashkin will automatically clear that text block. That's what they are used for. Okay, so if you click the trash can, it clears the text. If you click on this little icon, it will check the node as a mute node, but it will also mean that you completed your task. For example, let's say that I have a task to render a specific image on a specific um, size. So I'm going to say that, let's, let's make this label uh, the size that I need to render. So it's 1024 by 1024. I've done it. 
and it would be useful if I could just, you know, render the image and somehow make the node show the image, like right here. So developer, if you're listening, this is the one that we need and it will be so cool. Anyway, so let's just say that I have finished uh, rendering my image, which I am going to post to my social media. So now I need to uh, decide how I'm going to resize that or how I'm going to send it off to traffic, to social traffic. Um, so I'm going to switch this uh, label um, and I'm going to call it my render image. And with that, let me close this. Uh, with that, I have my um, initial works uh, workflow or rather flow map of the ideas. So now let's open again the text editor. This is the master thing. This is how you control this thing, right? So by the way, if you, you know, just come up here to this little up corner, you're going to uh, pull this to your left and then click on the uh, notes. And this is exactly what these other icons do. So we already review how they work. So let me just switch this off for now. And let's see this as a clear view with, the, with only the text editor. So again, we have a new text block and then I see the text name here. So this is text 001, it will not work. You need to match the text block we're using. And so far I have not ventured to write a new name. So I'm going always with only one text block and I'll, I'll bid you to do the same. So um, I cleared the text block. Now I'm going to create a brand new unique one. It's called text. Please do not rename it. And we're going to add notes using shift A. Okay. That's how you add notes in this um, workspace in this uh, window that we've created using the F3 options. Once you have the plugin installed, the add-on installed. So as you can see, there are different options to create with icons and without icons. If you select them all and then press X, it will delete them. So I'm going to add just a simple node with no icons because I'll, all I want to do is just write inside. And also whenever I connect a new node, as you can see, I can use my traditional node tools like the knife. If I um, use a knife tool, you can press T and then you get the tools. Of course, you can also um, rewire this thing using the reroute node. I can change the color like we saw before. And now I'm going to directly type inside this node because it's not going to be that long and it's not going to have that many different instructions. I just need to uh, remember that I want to use this uh, workflow to resize the final result. And of course, if you want to have your node lines very straight in a line, in a single line, you can come here to the themes option and then node editor and then come all the way over here where it says uh, uh, noodle, noodle, noodle rings, I guess, uh, noodle cur curving, sorry, it's very small to read while this is <laughs> playing back. So if you press six, it gets curved. If you press zero, it gets a straight line. All right, so let's add just this Last one, I'm going to connect this one over here to the back. Why? Because I want to demonstrate that whatever you write on the text, you can send it from the text editor to the note. All right. So I'm going to make this very spacey, uh, very huge capitals uh, right here. Uh, let's add another line. All right. So I'm going to send this text. So I'm going to get it over here. So therefore I'm going to press this one and it will automatically pick it up from the text editor. Don't ask me how this works. It is stored as strings, not as a text block itself. So you, so you never have a really text block, a real text block that contains your text. It has, this has all been passed directly to the nodes. So that's that and you can connect it. And now I hope you have liked that uh, add-on. So let's go for the special sneak preview. A lot of people told me, you know, I really hate your light theme. It's not cool. Let's use Blender. All right. So I'm working on this new theme, uh, which is called Blender V. And why it's V? Because it's cool. All right. I'll explain that later. So you have different workspace, different renewed workspace where I intend the new user to um, apply this theme, which is almost the default theme on Blender, except that all of the colors right now 
make real sense. So whatever you see on one channel on any of the other windows, it will match onto the other windows exactly like that. So if you select with white um, principal selection, everything else or blue principal selections, you will see tabs, you will see uh, secondary selections in that sense. All right. So last but not least, let's uh, thank Perry because he's a creator of the Samus rig that you just saw, but I don't have a rig. I, I will rig it though. Uh, using Rigify, but the model is free to download. It's a the May it's a Mayhem model and it's awesome. So thank you, Barry. Another another uh, quick um, overview. We are still going on with the Patreon um, specialized course to create a, an interactive AR filter for your Snapchat phone. So in this case, um, don't miss it out. Please subscribe or follow me on Patreon to get more news about that. And last but not least, I'm going to give a huge shout out to Barbara, who decided at her age um, to start learning Blender. This is what really makes me happy as a Blender Foundation Certified Trainer, because people like her are always looking out for new things freely and creatively. So big shout out to Barbara. Thank you for your marvelous support and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.